Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode playthrough. We're going to dive right back into Elite Zoo North, of course. We've got ourselves a new pair of animals that need a lot of love and care. Their enclosure needs to be built properly. There's a lot to do today, in fact, uh, and I can't wait to dive on in. So let's go ahead and, and dive on in. Let's not waste any time. Some excellent suggestions came through in the comments, and actually on the note of the comments, I want to start off by very quickly thanking each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart uh, who wished me a happy birthday or a belated happy birthday. It really does mean a lot, so thank you very much. I'm trying to respond to each and every uh, one of those comments, but I'm still working on it, so, um, so bear with me. Hold on. So, uh... Bear with me, please. It's uh, it's taking some time. There's a lot of comments as I go clipping through the ground. Um, on the topic of comments, though, just want to mention, as always, folks, if you've been enjoying the series and you would like to see it continue, uh, especially at pace, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It really helps me make important decisions for the channel, uh, like what series I should continue, if I should slow things down, if I should speed them up, uh, things like that. So if you'd like to keep Planet Zoo going at the same speed it's been going, uh, please don't hesitate to let me know, as you have been doing with those likes and and uh, comments. It does uh, it does help me tremendously. Um, apart from that, of course, I do enjoy reading through the comments to get all your feedback, all your thoughts, all your ideas uh, for important pointers, like how many of you noticed that the uh, Baird's Tapirs can actually escape from down here, apparently, I think is what y'all were mentioning, which is definitely not a good thing to, yeah, hmm, what do you know? <laughs> what, what do you know? So we're gonna have to fix some of this stuff. Uh, there might be some issues up top as well as a result of that. Yep, there are a couple of issues here and there. So yeah, we'll, we'll sort all that out but uh, again, I, I, I maybe would have noticed it, but I do read through all the comments to have those kinds of things uh, jump out at me. And often it's just fun to just read through the comments and see what you guys are thinking, saying, feeling, all the feedback you're giving me. It's great. Anyway, enough talk about previous episode. Let's talk about today's episode. So there's a lot to do, like I was saying. Um, but I think the first thing we need to do is take care of the Baird's Tapirs exhibit. And the reason for that is because the inspector has arrived. As, as many of you rightfully reminded me, uh, the inspector is here right now. And the inspector is going to check out Habitat 6, as it is currently called. But that name is going to change, because today we uh, have a name selected for it. And, uh, well, we're going to be putting it up alongside all the other signage and work that needs to be done over here. So, I think, folks, we're actually going to kick today's session off with a time lapse and uh and then we're gonna do a f there's a fair bit of management stuff to do we might have a second time lapse as well because i've been meaning to expand wolf rock for a while but uh hopefully we can get to it today so let's go ahead and kick off our first time lapse looking at this new enclosure all right this is a fun one i i've been looking forward to this between the last recording and and today because i've uh well, I got I got a great name suggestion, uh, and I've already there was already the great idea of like the pier. I'm super excited for this one. I'm really happy to finally have a new animal as well to work with and play with because that always adds a little bit of joy. So the first thing to do actually is um, I wanted to make this pier viewing point a bit more interesting than the water typically is. So I added some of these uh, lily pads. I think it kind of makes sense. And then these giant trees get added in as well. The first thing I'm taking care of is basically uh, tree coverage, vegetation, things like that, because I wanted to sort of plan around it. Uh, one thing that I will want to do is change how the barriers are built as well, uh, but that's something we'll we'll get into later. For now, you can see I'm kind of flipping through all of the requirements and desires of these uh, tapirs, and I want to make sure that, uh, well, one thing that many of you have pointed out is that this barrier might need to be higher and it's probably a good idea to do one-way glass because they get easily stressed out and you can see i also very quickly there checked their um ability to access these like higher parts i don't really want them getting up there because of what i wanted what i wanted to do was i wanted to get rid of the barrier up there make it a null barrier instead and uh because again in that central area i'm kind of saving for a little memorial for animals that have passed away um, so we need to, you know what, oh man, if anyone's been keeping a track of all the animals that have passed away, please let me know, because I need a list to actually do that memorial properly for, uh, folks other than Nekedra, of course. Uh, but yeah, sorry, you can see I kind of created those, used those rocks to block off access up there. Uh, not really a fan of how that looks, so we'll be adjusting that a little bit, and you can see again, I add a couple of points to the barrier, so I can make that area a null, and I make this entire top part into rock, because it feels like it, it, it fit, fits in a bit more nicely, but then I do add some bushes over here, uh, just to, uh, I don't know, get rid of that abrupt 
edge on the rocks, I suppose. It still needs a little bit of work, but that central area, again, I'm going to leave for when I actually build that memorial, because I think that's the right time to uh, to get that work done over there. Uh, adding some more trees at the edge, just looking for good spots for, for vegetation, basically. Uh, one thing that was pointed out in the comments is that a big issue for the uh, uh, tapirs is deforestation. So I wanted to build around that as well, uh, if possible. So I, you, you saw every once in a while I was experimenting with the uh, the stumps because I wanted to have that conversation about deforestation and the issues that that causes. Thought it'd be a nice tie into you know real world issues and whatnot for our uh, for our zoo. But ultimately, I end up not really finding the right look outside of that one dead tree, and I decide it's time to put down our sign. So. Again, uh, there were some great name suggestions, and as always, it's it's a hard thing to pick. Uh, this time, it was a, it was a bit, I guess it was a bit easier, and you'll see why. Because I probably because I'm terrible, uh, terrible like this. But uh, I, I had a lot of fun building these signs as well. Actually, getting research done uh, has helped me build things a little bit more easily because these are all panels from the Africa theme set, uh, but they don't necessarily look particularly, you know, African, whatever that means. They just look like wooden panels. So I was able to use them and uh, they actually look, look really nice. They add some variety to the zoo as well. They, they look a little different and I like their kind of worn down look as well. It feels a bit more uh, right for like, you know, wood next to a pier. I don't know, just felt like the right choice. So I went with this uh, Africa theme set of uh, uh, panels and I do make some adjustments to the barriers as well because I don't like exactly how it's all curving. So I just try to clean that up a little bit so I'm a little bit happier with the end result. So yeah, just a little bit of touching up and adjusting. Uh, and you can see over here, I'm actually going to select part of this. I don't want to refund because it's only partial refunds, but I, I pick it up and I use the uh, little uh, branch there, the little part that sticks out as an actual thing to hold the sign up. Obviously, it's actually probably, you know, realistically structurally more uh, reinforced or something. I don't know. But from a visual standpoint, I like that it kind of feels like it actually rests on the branch. Um, just feels a bit more believable, I guess, or real. Uh, but yeah, just make some slight adjustments. I do. I really like how that wood uh, paneling actually looks. And I did do a little bit of rotation and adjustment so it doesn't line up perfectly. I want it to look a little, you know, real. Perfection doesn't feel real. Um, perfection always feels super manufactured, but you can see it's not really 100% flat top and bottom, so I'm really happy with that. I also thought about putting a bench down. I don't know, I might come back and add benches over here because it's nice to, you know, go to the edge of the, the dock and, and sit down, but ultimately I decided against it. I want to see how people interact with it. I want people to walk around in the area as well. And you can see I actually add the do not disturb signs as well as the do not feed signs. Uh, thank you for pointing out, by the way, that I for some reason forgot or didn't actually put in the do not feed sign, so I've got them in now. But even the do not disturb, um, hopefully it'll make the animals a bit happier when they don't have to deal with uh, with people making loud noises near them. And you can see down over here I'm using the barriers uh, to make the wall now instead because I do want to create the glass, the one-way glass again. Uh, so now I have to use the, the barrier once more rather than using the um, the old-fashioned technique that, that I was using. Uh, I'm fine with it. It works out okay. Needs a little bit of adjusting, unfortunately, because of the limitations of placing barriers. Uh, and I also kind of tuck these into the barrier itself, so it feels like those are signs uh, stuck onto the barrier wall as opposed to separate posts. I think it works pretty well. And it also moves the, move the bins aside. I decided not to put donation bins down there, though, because it was already pretty crowded. And uh, now it comes time, I think, to build the sign up over here. Yeah, I, I spent a little bit of time looking around at some other options uh, of tools I can use. So many things have been unlocked, so you can see I'm like flipping through like, oh my god, there's so many options. I need to start using some of these. Uh, oh my god, there's a bear. <laughs> I'm not going to use that bear. I'm not the biggest fan of how it looks. Uh, but yeah, lots of really cool options and stuff. And ultimately, I'm like, all right, cool. Let's get on with business over here. Uh, so it is, of course, called Ta Pier because I can't help myself. I cannot help myself. But yeah, I really like how it looks. It's all caps this time around. I don't mix the capital and lowercase letters. Uh, I really like how it looks. And um, I do wish there were more animal signs. There is no tapir animal sign. So I just have to kind of make do with not having one, I suppose. But I really like how it fits on the uh, panels and everything. Uh, and you can see I go in here and make some small adjustments as well, make sure everything's rotated correctly and fits right. Um, again, just discovering more options. And I ultimately decide to actually add a camera up there as well because I don't trust people anymore. Ever since I found out about that pickpocketing, I don't trust people anymore. Uh, moving some donation bins in now, trying to find the good spots where people will actually be viewing from and also trying to put some on the pier. And you'll see I actually make some adjustments on the pier here uh, to, to have things kind of tuck in more nicely. Uh, again, the idea is still there to maybe eventually decorate some of the donation bins, but I don't know how much, uh, like, I don't know if I want to spend a lot of time doing that 
right now. Uh, especially today, I wanted to focus on this exhibit. And over here, you can see I'm actually adding the deforestation uh, education board, basically. Meanwhile, over here, I want to get some education boards in, of course, as well. So for on the pier, I decide to use the posts like I've used for everything else. Uh, you know what? In hindsight, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know how I feel about that because now it looks a little less like those logs on a pier, right? So I don't know. Let, you guys let me know what you guys think. Um, but it's okay. It's not bad. I don't know. It's something, something about Something to think about. But you can see, yeah, adding some more education boards here and there. Uh, getting a speaker in here as well. I ultimately decide to put it at the end of the pier and below it uh, to get better coverage of the uh, the speaker rather than overlapping into the other side of the walkway. Get some more speakers spread around and you'll actually see me get distracted for a moment because I realize some of these speakers aren't actually working uh, and also the glass was horribly dirty. But yeah, feeling pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and assign Bear's Tape here. So now that I have the animal in there, I can actually assign the education without having to wait. Uh, checking all the enrichment and happiness and stuff, checking all the details, feeling pretty good. Going to add another heater and going to bring in another bush to hide that heater because I kind of like how that looks and feels. It, you know, I, I personally like it. Hopefully not a fire hazard. I don't know. Uh, and added a heater at the pier as well. But yeah, that's tap here. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right. I think that's enough of a, of a time lapse for now. I think we've got things set up pretty nicely. We've got... Uh, like all the education boards and everything set up. We've got, uh, let's see, yep, all the um, do not disturb, do not feed signs set up and everything. Just doing a quick double check here, folks. Don't uh, don't mind me. Um, and yeah, so it was actually pointed out, I don't know if I mentioned this in the time lapse, but hopefully I don't repeat myself. It was mentioned that apparently deforestation is a big problem for these uh, animals, so I figured it'd be quite suitable to have that be the education topic just outside the pier. Uh, we just have to make sure that power and stuff is getting through, and we also have to make sure that we don't get this kind of nastiness going on. So let's go ahead and paint a little bit of sand over here. Just a side, there we go. Just gotta clean that up. All right, cool, cool, cool. So let's make let's let's make sure that power and clean water is coming through. Now, in terms of um, clean water, in terms of I said clean water, um, where is our? Do we end up not placing it? I thought we ended up. Wow, I'm drawing a blank. I could have sworn I placed it, but perhaps I did not. Let me just check here real quick. Got the underground passage. Maybe I, uh, I'm just, uh, misremembering over here. Yeah, it looks like we just have a dead end for now. Fair enough. It's because I didn't know exactly where to put it, exactly how this was going to develop. Uh, but we do need to get the water situation sorted out, and we also need to get power sorted out. So we've got another solar panel over here. It has some reach, but it doesn't go all the way. I'm wondering if I actually should not move this one. To like further along one heater will be not working let's see there's a little bit of overlap going on that's all good like why is it saying these won't have power is my generator dead or something that's kind of weird or is it just saying that hold on, let's just go ahead and put this down over here for now yeah okay it was just uh, saying that this will no longer power them that's what I, I had a feeling all right so let's see what are we going to do over here i'm going to have some more path over here and i'm actually going to build another um I wonder if this should have been beach board, actually, now that I think about it. For like, you know, because it's a it's a it's a pier. Eh, nah, I don't think so. Alright, let's go ahead and uh put this down over here. A little bit wider. Again, just kind of planning out the next thing I want to do over here. Um, which is going to be like we want to get some eateries and stuff over here, washrooms, uh places to get some food, things like that. So just sorting that out right now. I'm not gonna make this too long, but I just want to position exactly where it's gonna be happening. Like, that's, I think, okay. It's probably going to be roundabout over here. Yeah, fair. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our solar panel set up, like, over here, I think, on route. Get out of this group. See, this thing gets skipped out, which is a little unfortunate. Where are you getting your power from? It's so weird. Um, all right, this is unfortunate. I feel like its original location is probably the best location for it. And we just need another one. So again, it's not the end of the world or anything. Here, let's go ahead and keep you down there. Yeah, you're fine. And let's go ahead and get another one. Perhaps somewhere up over here, maybe, as you go by. I don't want to put it too far up there. It's got to power these guys, obviously. Um, put it right over here. It's weird, it's almost like... 
I almost wish you needed like an array of, of solar panels, because this isn't really how solar panels look out in the wild, does it? Out in the wild, I say. Like, if I put you down over there... Like, sure, I guess you power... you'll power everything that's in this area. Fair enough. You know what? That, that sounds good to me. Let's just make sure that everything is in work zones as required. Um, so, staff, work zones. Let's make sure that America's North includes... This... And this, like, we're, we're gonna share some responsibility over here. So, yeah, that seems to do the trick for us, I think. Hopefully. Hopefully people aren't going to remain overworked. I do have to do something about the way my staff is distributed and stuff. Uh, okay, so this is all done. We've got power, we've got education, we've got everything we need. But yeah, so deforestation, because that seems to be a hot topic for these animals in particular. So I feel like that's fair to do. And it might be a good idea to actually have these things facing the right direction. So let's go ahead and uh, cancel that. Gonna use the angle snap to make sure it's, you know, the right angle. Literally. Go ahead and flip you over. There we go. Reading is so much easier when it's the right way up. There we go. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure that I haven't got these upside down. That's fine, and you're fine. Okay, good. Now, in terms of uh, enrichment, we've got the ball in here for now. Their toy enrichment is okay. Their uh, food enrichment, I don't really know what to do for them just yet. Um, because they... Uh... Oh, okay. I guess we know some things about them. We get the spike tree, I suppose. Make sure they're eating... Maybe further up over here as well. We don't have... We've got the donation bin up there. I could put this spike tree up over here. People will be like, oh wow, look at them eat. Look at them have a good time. I don't want to overdo it. Uh, maybe I have to. What's your enrichment looking like? Wow, 5 out of 10. I could put another one down probably. I. The thing is, see, I don't want them to get bored of everything all at once. I would like to spread that board amount. There, one for each. Right, so once they get bored of the spike tree, we'll replace it with the barrel feeder or something. Uh, and then in terms of toys... In terms of toys, we've already got the ball. I get a cardboard box, perhaps, um... Where, like, I could put it up over... Here as well, so they're playing with it near the donation bin. I feel like the view from here will be pretty good when they're eating. Uh, actually, I can get one over here as well for... When they're playing, get a nice view. It's a hundred. And I could do another ball. Maybe up over here. I don't want them to, like, drop into the water. Or maybe I do want them to drop into the water. Like, will they go chasing after it? I'm kind of curious, actually, how they play. I'm gonna put you up there. Cool. These are all pretty fun areas. Oh, did that... ...really barely help? That didn't help at all, did it? Wow. They won a variety. Alright, I guess we got a sprinkler. Ironically, right next to the water. Get a sprinkler... ...where? Get a sprinkler over here. Get a nice view from uh, from over here. 150 out of 220. Jeez. High high, uh, high demands from these animals. It looks like we're at 100%. So we should be fine. Hopefully the habitat will turn up okay once I hit play. Everything should be good over here. Yeah, I, I, I tried to make sure everything was accurate. Yeah, see, the enrichment is 20%. Maybe I have to hit play before that one updates. All right, looking pretty good outside of genetics, looking pretty good. Um, and before we hit play, I just want to very quickly do something. Now, it was, in case you're wondering about that number there, I'm not too worried about it, and you shouldn't be either, because remember, we've got all of these animals. That's over 10k, almost 11k that we can quick trade. No, that we can't quick trade, that I have to trade seemingly one by one or something. Not sure, I couldn't tell you. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to adopt, I'm trying to sell, I'm trying to get rid of. Uh, quick trade. Confirm. I mean, do I have to do every one type of animal at a time? Seems to be the case. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind that. And I do have to do a little bit of management stuff, so, uh, I'm going to, after I finish all these quick trades and we have a bit of a buffer zone as far as money's concerned, I'm going to, uh, let time move forward, and we're going to- wow, look at that! Oh my god! I kinda wanna keep Symington. And replace uh, his mom. You know what? We'll get other. That's a. Okay, hold on. Twenty-two fifty. That's uh That's a high number. And Winter is pregnant yet again. Twenty-two fifty. Oh, okay. You know what? They're all high appeal. Yates was high appeal as well. Fair enough. All right. Well, not changing my mind then. Twenty-two fifty. Go ahead, quick trade. 
done. I got all these giant desert hairy scorpions. My god, we're making so much money. More spiders. Off you go. Another Gila monster. Off you go. And there you go. We've got, we've got so much money. So glad we got these exhibits nice and early. Very, very, very good call from y'all in the comments. There you go, 24k. So nothing to worry about. In fact, do we have any animals in storage as well? I thought we... Oh, no. No, no, no. Animal storage. Why do I have... Yeah, okay. I'm like, I don't have beards, tapirs in my storage. That game was just uh, being weird. All right. Fair enough. Money's looking good. Let's go ahead and hit play. Let's see what the inspector says. Uh, and as that's happening, we're also going to be... Uh, taking care of some other stuff that needs taking care of. So, first things first, let's hit play, shall we? Hopefully the inspector enjoys her time at the zoo. These guys are just doing the little moonwalk for a second there. Alright, cool. Wait. But, I just had an inspector. I just... This isn't... This isn't this year's inspection. Oh, I guess it is. What? That's so weird. I paused at the moment it said they arrived in, uh... And now they've gone ahead and given me a mediocre mark at best. That's that's lame. Yeah, I didn't even get the name right. Man, all that uh, all that focused effort for for nothing. And oh my god, look at these crowds. Eleven hundred and thirty people. Well, that seem like they're enjoying things well enough. Hopefully they're going to enjoy. I need to see the reviews of like the view of the view and stuff. And hopefully the higher. Look at that. They're so happy. I'm hoping the higher um, barriers mean they're not going to get too stressed out. Things are blocked out okay. I actually didn't do a check on this after it updated. But yeah, we're in the clear over here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, so I noticed something while I was uh, working on that exhibit. First of all, the glass was dirty, so I've got someone coming. I already ordered. It looks like it's already been done. That's good. Uh, but over here, some of the speakers seem to not be functioning. Well, they're on. So what's the deal here? If I go into education... Hmm. Is it because they're too far from the animals? Because blue means they're working. So do I have to like... Oh, yeah, okay. I guess I have to lower it. A little bit. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I guess it was a, a height situation. It's kind of weird, but you know what? It's fine. Not the end of the world. What's the deal over here? I'm guessing it's also a height thing. Like it's too high to register the animal? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Some of you had mentioned that in previous episodes, and I was like, no, it looks like they're working fine, but then I realized right now, oh wait, they're red. They're not working fine. They've been listed and everything, but they're not working fine. That might actually increase our donation significantly up over here. Dangerous animal has escaped. Uh, we've got the money. Let's go ahead and uh, repair this. I need to make this like concrete or something. I think we just scared a bunch of people out over here. I can hear their yelling. <laughs> I, I need to have a mechanic come here more often. Every three months is not good enough. Every month is, is maybe a better idea. Now hopefully you're going to be returned. Yeah, it looks like we've got a keeper coming through. Good, or a caretaker, I guess. And we just completed more vet research. Who for? The American bison. So the bison is actually completed now. Um, Let's maybe do a little bit of research on the scorpions. Uma Dunbar, let's get you working on that. And I do, yes, need to work on the um on the diseases more. I'd rather nip those in the bud before they start causing us issues. You're absolutely right about that as well. Um, but let's see. So one thing that was mentioned is that I... Oh, right. Crap. I don't have the water treatment. Let's pause for a second here. I need to get my water treatment going. I got so distracted by power that I did not take into consideration water. So water treatment plant. Now the water treatment plant will still make people upset, which is why we have that underground plan for it. If I were to build it... Um, let's see. If I were to build it where I had planned, it would kind of get in there. Okay, sure. Get down here. Where's my path? Where's my path? This underground network is, uh, I mean, it's its great, but it's also sometimes very difficult to navigate. All right, where are we? Uh, there's the entrance. Go down, over, and we are going to add some more uh, entry points to this path as well. Because right now it's, um, there's like one way in, and that's not very convenient. Rotate you, there we go. Right at the end over here. Maybe on this side. 
I'm just going to put it down for now so I can see what the deal is. Um, there we go. Let's go ahead and drop you down over here. Okay, and if I go up top, what are we looking at? So, it's going to cover the water entirely, looks like. Yeah, water is covered, great. But, what about guest negative impact? Looks like it falls just short of the road, actually. Yeah, that's good. That's good, because this is the path over here. I say road, you know what I mean. That's the path over there. I'm wondering, actually, if I do want to move it down a little bit so there's a bit more room over here without having to worry about the negative impact. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and move you down just a little bit. Get rid of the group edit there. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Rotate this just a little bit. Turn off the angle. Snap. All right. Sorry. Didn't think it'd be this much of a struggle. I would have time lapsed if I did. But there we go. Pop you over there. And that should do the trick as well. The negative water looks like we're good, right? Not powered. <laughs> uh, yeah. My good friend, you're actually going to be on this side. If we can, yeah, there we go. That should do the trick. Yes, good. Excellent. All right, so now the water is covered and the um, negative impact is further away as well. Like people aren't going to see it going this way. If I eventually build a path, I just have to remember to go around it. Maybe, you know, make a decorative area over here rather than anything else. Um, so that's good. And we've got plenty of room up there. Okay, cool. Cool. Now the water can stay clean as well. Oh my God. Oh, hey, look, they swim. They do swim. They like full on swim. And they look cute while doing it too. And I believe we have our first... No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. I have our first guest on the pier. Excellent. Now, water treatment has been taken care of. However, before I forget, it is not in a work zone. Let's go ahead and edit north. Add it to you. And we're going to edit south as well. I'm going to add it to you. The thing is, I'm going to be revamping our um, work zones a little bit. But that's something I might do later. Later in like the next couple of episodes. I'm not planning on doing it today. Be a new exhibit animal. I will claim that happily. Thank you very much. Um, I do want to get, however, our staff path down here. Make sure that... Okay, so this is where it goes. Right up to there. What I could do is have like... All the way down there and up there. I want to be able to access it from maybe up over here. Hmm... Up over here, perhaps? Well, I actually need to get rid of this. That was just from when we had to recover that one runaway bison. Unpleasant. Has it been in a box for too long? Oh, why are you in a box? Get out of there. We're actually going to take a look at the Galapagos tortoises. There's there's a lot to do today. There's a lot to do today. I'm trying to be as uh, swift about it as possible. All right. Can we get back on the paths, please? There we go. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe we drop them down from over here. It's a good spot, I think. You go from there all the way over and down and down if you need to go up there. Otherwise, you're just kind of exploring. You're taking care of these guys and you head down. Okay, sure. So from here, make you thin. Don't need you to be a big um, path. And you're going to be tunneling and you're going to be going down. Oh, I guess first step has to be up. There we go. Dangerous animals escaped. Okay, this is becoming a very repetitive ordeal here. People are running away again. I might need to upgrade these to concrete. I might just temporary solution. In the future, I'm doing like more to it. Animals escaped. Okay, concrete. Animals escaped. Udele. Oh no. Where are you? Oh, what? You're not really escaped. Fair enough. That was, that was, that was not good. <laughs> this is not ideal, and now I gotta edit these a little bit. Alright. Not the end of the world. A little unfortunate. Didn't want to have to resort to this concrete monstrosity, but they were escaping very often. And I thought the mechanic come 
came through. The Iberia status is at 100% now. So the mechanic must have come through recently. I think. Could be mistaken. Go ahead and do that. Come on. There we go. And over here as well. Keeping my eye on the date too, because I want to do a quick run around when we hit to hit December. I just want to do a quick check to see how our animals are performing. And I want to make sure I do it at the end of the year, rather than... What I usually do is only go around in January, apparently, sometimes. It's never helpful for anybody. Alright, there we go. And there we go. 12th of November, we still have some time. Alright. So that will hopefully be significantly better. Wait, are you still clipping through? You are. My apologies. There we go. Okay. Uh, and what's the deal over here? People are coming around. They are having a good time playing with the sprinkler. You're just literally staring at it. Oh my god. It's like you're having an existential cri crisis over here. Just staring at the sprinkler. Like, what, a, what has my life become? <laughs> Alright. They're okay. They don't look very stressed or anything. They seem happy. They seem very happy, so that's good. Mm, I do hope... Well, once we give people more of a reason to come up here with all the stuff to do here... Uh, that'll, this pier will hopefully be a lot more crowded. Hopefully. Trying to make some money already. Okay, uh, what else do we have to do? What else do we have to do? So, there was a note in the comments that one of these information signs is on backwards. Well, this one's not on backwards, but it's in disrepair, so let's replace that. Don't know if that's the one that was spotted or if it was something else. Maybe that's what it was. The backwards one. Uh, another thing that was suggested actually was that we go ahead and make, um, I guess, Philippe go ahead and apply contraceptives here. We don't need any more baby tortoises. We're, d we're done with baby tortoises as much of a crowd as it draws in, which is amazing to see. It's amazing to see. Let's actually go ahead and pause right now. It's the 10th of December, so close enough to the end of the year. I just want to see. So we've got, wow, 7k, another 9k, let's say. Uh, let's go ahead and make you... So this side is not nearly as... Um, as popular, it seems. Yeah. I could probably sell you. Make that money back. And you're basically useless. That's too bad. No one comes here anymore. I wonder I wonder why that side's so much more favorable. Because we do get them eating over here. We do have some babies over here as well. So I am very curious. Maybe it's because of the education board? I don't know. We'll keep this one, though. We'll keep this one. And then up over here, how are we doing? Yeah, we're not making any money up over here. No one's up over here to actually see it, but I like what it, like, stands for, I guess, is the way to put it. I don't mind that. Uh, what else have we got going on? Oh, you know what I did forget to do? I did forget to put donation bins and stuff down here, didn't I? I did. Party, you fool. I'm getting it over, over here, but I wouldn't mind getting, um, an education board over here, though. Right up over here, perhaps? We're not about bears, you're about bears' tapirs. Alright, so as you're walking by, you read a little bit, learn a little bit. You are not realistically placed over here. What's going on here? There we go. Rotate you a little bit. Sorry, I just, just noticed that. That was down here. That bothered me a little bit too much. There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay, cool. So, this should be a lot better. Now, we've checked our tortoises. They are serious money makers. I wish there was a quick way to go through our finances. Let me just check real quick here. Finances, uh, income, and we just have ticket sales and shop income, which is all great. Wow, that's a lot of adoptions. A lot of adoptions. Donations, 41k. I wish I could see a breakdown of donations. So, we know that the tortoises are doing very well for us. How are the wolves doing lately? How are they doing? 482 over here, 360. I was really aggressive with these um, donation bins, wasn't I? Oh my god, now that I'm looking down here. Uh, I'm not going to adjust this even though it's kind of clipping through. Well, maybe I should. I was like, I don't want to adjust it if it's not having issues, but... And that's what I get. That's what I get. There we go. I'm not going to adjust it. It's getting its money, so that's fine. It's getting a fair bit of money, too. What's everybody looking at here? Got his phone out. Ticket prices are good. Lapkos tortoises, you like them? Alright, they've, they've, they've just come through from seeing the tortoises, I guess. Look at these crowds, though. Wow. People are really moving through. People are really moving through here. Lots of money coming up over here. When did this happen? Lots of money coming through over there. I guess they're making their way to the food court and stuff. I just hadn't noticed. Yeah, you know what? The bears are still making a fair bit of money. 
the bears are making bear money. And over here, yeah, you know what? The Timberwolf is making some money on both sides over here as well. Good stuff. Again, I, I just want to do a quick check of, of how everything's performing. I hope you all don't mind. A little bit of money. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the money maker over here. I was wondering, I was like, man, I would really like I would really like uh, the wolves to start making more money down here. That's good. It's good to see this is working. All right, good. Good stuff. Across the board. These, I mean, I could check all the exhibits for days, and, and they're, they're making okay money, actually. They're making better money than I expected originally. One's back here. Even those are making money. All right, cool. You know what? Good stuff. Over a thousand made there. And what about down over here? How's this donation been doing? 20. Eh. <laughs> Not that well. Not surprised. Uh, wait, what? Oh my god. Dude, stuck here. How did you get here? Are you... Are you... A vandal? No, you... Nothing suspicious about you, apparently. You're just... Roaming off the path. Fair enough. I mean, the path here is... Ah, oh, god damn. I was just about to say, it's a lot cleaner than I... Than it was previously. I mean, it still is, but it's also still got some litter on it. Good money being made over here. Wow! Good money being made over here. And up over here as well. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. It's so great to see Eagle Eye work. Uh, because when I made it, I was worried that it wouldn't actually work properly. But it seems that uh, I was mistaken. It seems we're having a good time. That's fantastic. Um, now, as I'm actually going around, let's go ahead and hit play now. Because I'm done uh, investigating these numbers. And I wanted to do a couple of things. Again, a lot of these uh, suggestions and stuff coming through the comments. Uh, for example, a new name for the, not the Looney Balloons over here. But the Just a Memento. Lots of name suggestions came through. Uh, and I, I saw one. I was inspired by it. So it's a bit of a modification. I hope you don't mind. But we're calling it Tor Toys. Because you've done a tour of the zoo. And now you're back and you're buying your toys on the way out. Next to the tortoises. I just... Okay, I'm sorry. I love it. <laughs> I can't help myself. Um, there were also suggestions to maybe get rid of some of the tortoises. Uh, w with the tortoises, there was a lot of suggestions. Do we get rid of them? Do we make a second exhibit? Do we get rid of the parents? Like, what do we do? And uh, the suggestion I went with ultimately is the contraceptives. I think it's a good idea to get those contraceptives going. We do not need more babies. We have so many tortoises. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Oh, there we go. Galapagos giant tortoises. Oh, my God. Way too many. And they don't become adults until, what, 22? So we've got a long time to go. I mean, some of them are getting close. That's good. Some of them are getting close. But then we can start selling them, basically. Because even our adults are, you know, fine adults. And I can't sell them because I... Like, I can't release them into the wild because I purchased them with money. But their children, I can obviously release into the wild. So that's one thing that I wanted to do. Uh, apart from that, there was also a lot of talk of the... Uh, <laughs> of the A down here. This needs some work. Uh, I, I wholeheartedly agree. As uh, as hap as fine-ish as I was with it when I first put it down, uh, I do think it needs work. My concern with doing a pointy A is that people won't be able to walk underneath it because of the angle it'll have over here. So what we're going to do is very quickly, now that it's empty, we're going to pause it and... Uh, whoops, actually, you know, I'm probably going to need those eyes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make this out of eyes and just see if that uh, works better. My, again, my only concern is that um, uh, it, it's it's going to... Oh, maybe I use beams instead? No, the beams are very obviously a different material and stuff. So that doesn't really work, I don't think. Yeah, no, they're, 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 they're obviously different. No, we need the alphabet. We need the I. And hopefully... Well, we need the large I, I think. And hopefully it'll work nicely. I might do like a more um, squarish A. Again, I wish you could scale letters and stuff. Yeah, I might have to do a bit more of a square, kind of an A over here. I, it's cool to see, like, one, the thing that blows my mind most about this game is how you can do these kinds of things, and the the visitors and stuff kind of understand what's going on. Like, they know um, that they can still walk underneath it. I sh sorry, I shouldn't say they understand what's going on. They have no clue what they're looking at, but they're able to navigate things um, and and get where they need to go. Which I think is pretty cool. Like, I would, uh... I've done some stuff that I would not expect... The, the, the game to comprehend. Oh, uh, okay, here's, here's my plan. So we're gonna go ahead and do... This, I guess? Mm. Yeah, see, it's, uh... It's tough. It's tough to fit this perfectly. Let's go ahead and do that. 
There we go. There we go. Close. Okay. I think the V-E-R-N needs to move. There we go. 20,000 leagues in that direction. Cool. Uh, so there's the A-ish. <laughs> there's the A-ish. I could do this kind of a thing, which is what I was originally thinking. Get you in there, get you up there. Right, and then we can go ahead and move these uh, beasties up a little bit. Well, we gotta move a couple of these things. Now, there was also suggestions of coloring the, the spiders and stuff, so let's go ahead and do that at the same time now that we're down here. Uh, initially, I was like, maybe I'll do this with a time lapse, but I didn't think it would take this long. Um, sometimes, like, I, I don't want to, like, interrupt flow with a time lapse every, you know, 10 minutes. I feel like that's really jarring to watch. Uh, I could be mistaken. Uh, as always, your opinion is welcome and appreciated. So let me know down below. Um, but yeah, I, I just thought it would be a little jarring if I kept just cutting into time lapses for little things like this. Uh, okay, that's good. Or for what I thought was going to be a little thing. I guess it's a bit, become a little bit bigger than I expected. And yeah, there we go. Go ahead and adjust you as well. So we're covering that seam up there. There we go. There we go. And, yeah, I think that works. As uh, as I might typically say, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and make the snakes green. I think green is, is your standard snake color, isn't it? I think, like, when I think snakes, I typically go to green. Can we not? Hold on. No, 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 you can definitely change them. There we go. What kind of green, though? You know what, that, that green looks nice. Yeah, I like that. Go with you, and let's go ahead and, and I mean, tarantulas, I typically think, like, blackish, grayish kind of a thing. Um, and the green and the black actually looks really nice together. Can you actually? No. I was like, can I pull up the, like, the color wheel? No, no, I cannot. This is not the same gray. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. So, yeah, there's your creature cavern. Let's go ahead and hit play again. I just wanted to pause so that people could keep walking through. And that, I mean, that reads more like an A, I suppose. Still kind of funny looking, but it's okay. Alpha status fighting going on among, among American Bison, which apparently this is now. Didn't expect the camera to zoom there. Um, you're fine, man. You're fine. Vet research is complete. Good. I said vet research is complete. Good, as in show me. What do you got for me? More mechanic research is complete as well. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting right there. Um... Oh, it looks like it's been done already. Let's go ahead and research some staff facilities. Who's researching the New World theme? Let's go ahead and stop. We do not need Tier 3, so Scott Tillman. Let's get you working on staff facilities. If we can get be bigger and better staff facilities, I think that'd be good. And that'd be really good for us. All right, so how are the tapirs performing? Terribly. No one's coming here. But of course, why would they? There's nothing to see there. What about over here? 11 bucks? Where are they? They're probably hiding from the snow. Seems to be the case. People here seem to be looking at them. That's good. That's good. Are we making money down here? Yeah, 143. Alright. I don't think I need another donation bin. I mean, I could put one up there, I guess, but that just seems unnecessary. Oh, you're such a cutie. I love when they wiggle their ears. I just can't get over the little ear wiggles. Um, I don't know. Brown bot. Hello, hello. Wolf Shadow, you're back. How's it going, man? And unknown bacon. Fair enough. What have we got going on over here? Oh, actually, clicking here reminds me. So this was pointed out that I might have got this spelling wrong. So when I looked it up, I did my research. Uh, I saw that Yancey was one of the spellings. Um, but then I looked up a suggestion for an edit, uh, which is that it should actually be Yanasi. So I don't know if there's alternate spellings or, or what, uh, what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and correct that real quick because it will not take us... But a moment to do that. And it is my desire to get this correct. There we go. Oh, Yanasi. Still not 100% on how to pronounce it. I need to practice it. There we go. Done. And of course, I have to edit the uh, name itself Yanasi. Cool. 
done. All right, what else is there to do? Sorry, just quickly going through my list here. Oh, right. Uh, Y'all pointed out that the Brazilian spiders might actually be siblings at this point. And so you know what I'm going to do? Just to make life a little bit easier, I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, no, I, I've listed them as mother and father, so I don't think they are siblings. We're going to go ahead and get you guys into the trade center. And we're just going to double check real quick over here by uh, comparing mates with Alejandro and... Uh, what's the problem here? It doesn't say... Oh, well, reduced fertility because of recent birth. Is that why we're not going to have offspring? But no, they are mom and dad, so we're, we're fine there. There's no uh, inbreeding going on over there. Definitely glad I marked them. Alejandro's thirsty. Watkins is hungry. Are you stuck up here, man? Do you not know how to get down? Is that your problem right now? No, nope, you know how to get down. Food should be coming soon, hopefully. I'll call the keeper over here right now. Make sure that gets solved right away. More vet research complete. That's good. Going by pretty quickly. Baird's tape here. Good, good, good. And more mechanic research as well. More shelter and climbing stuff. Uh, okay, so that's feeling pretty good. Let's go ahead and do uh, a little bit more work over here. So the canopy over here needs some adjustments. Many of you have pointed out that there are way too many heaters over here. And you're probably right. Uh, if we take a look actually at the temperature. I mean, I want to... There we go. How do I... See, there we go. There's a lot of overlap. We do not need this many. There's a lot of overlap. So we can go ahead and get rid of you. We can get rid of this one. Sorry, we can get rid of this one for sure. This one has got a lot of area covered. Go ahead and get rid of you. And you. Okay, with that, we've got the canopy covered. Just needed the two. Get rid of you as well. Again, thanks for pointing that out. Just kind of overdoing it. Just kind of overdoing it. But people should be a lot more comfortable when they're coming around now. The bears seem to be navigating this area a lot better. That's good. Oh, hello. Hello, break in physics. That is what you were talking about. There we go. So that's been fixed now. Looking good. Nope. Still not looking perfect. I'll just nudge you up a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Look at these crowds, though. Wow. Okay, what, what are people saying? suppose it's okay. Ticket prices are good. Yeah, I was suggested that I can raise the ticket prices a fair bit, so let's go ahead and maybe do that. Um, when people say ticket prices are good, probably means we can go a little bit higher. Let's go 20 and 18. What do you say? Let's try that out, shall we? Let's try that out. Money's looking pretty low right now. That's not good. People are happy. We've got an active marketing campaign. I wonder if I should do some more marketing, actually. Uh, let's see. I've got the uh, high-impact TV commercials during family hour going right now. Divisive appeal. Interesting. Interesting online campaigns. Gulpy videos, banner ads. Oh my god, banner ads. Who sees them? <laughs> Ad block, man. Um, except for when you're watching YouTube, obviously. <laughs> uh, but no, okay, what else are we doing over here? So heaters are gone. All right, I think it might be time to uh, consider our whole lighting situation as well. So this is something that I've been... Uh, fighting with for a while. I'm going to go ahead and adjust our zoo's hours so we can actually see how it looks at night. Uh, let's go ahead and be... Why can I not? Edit you. This is strange. I literally just can't click on this button. And remember, this is how I edited it last time. Do I have to be paused? Come on now, zoo. What are you doing? If anybody knows what's going on here, let me know. Because I would like to extend my hours. And the game decide has decided that it doesn't want to let me do that. Gila monster is hungry. Alright, maybe we need some more keepers. Money's coming through okay. Maybe we need some more keepers. Or at least, at the very least, maybe we need to upgrade some people. Oh, where are our keepers? But our vets, vets are fine. I think the vets are having too much issue. The vendors seem to be doing... Uh, it's a lie. They're not doing okay. America's North feels like the busier one. I wonder if I should get more folks in America's North. You know what? They're both kind of equally busy. Let's go ahead and get some training going. Anybody taking a break right now? Let's go ahead and get some training going. Animals will fight. American bison. Alright, let's go ahead and fix that up. What's the deal over here? Ratio is wrong. We've got two men and three women. All right, we need to uh, deal with this. 
In fact, let's let's deal with this now. So Swindle is a pretty good specimen. Oh my god. They are going at it. It's pretty cool to see. Oh, this poor guy who's like just walking by. He's like, yeah, no, no big deal here. Crowd watching as these guys just duke it out. They're, they're not enjoying this. All right, let's uh, let's fix this. This is this is not good. So, if I recall correctly, so Watkins is daddy, but Swindle is the superior specimen. So it would probably be wise to uh, to keep Swindle, bring him a bunch of female bison, and start a new crew, so to speak, with him. Because let's see, let's go ahead and take a look at Zoopedia here. You, near threatened, okay, da, 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 what am I looking for? So up to 14 males, up to 14 females. Right, the ratio just needs to be one-to-one. -one. That's what it is, right? The ratio needs to be one-to-one. -one. They're a matriarchal dominant system. Oh, interesting, one dominant bull. Uh, so if it needs to be a one-to-one, -one, which I cannot remember where I saw that, or if it was just mentioned in the comments... But then what I could do is I could go ahead and say, all right, let's see. This area has two males, three females. So if I get another female, right, if we go ahead into animal trading um, and find a female American bison. Female, right? Yeah, I need, no, sorry, male. Wow, literally almost got the wrong thing. Male, hopefully one with good genes. Senate doesn't look so bad. Oh, hello, Wyatt. Ah, oh, you're expensive. Go ahead and get Senate over here. Decent appeal. Pretty cheap. Now, the thing is, are they going to be... Um, animals no longer available. Are you kidding me? Well, who is available? Ah, uh, and male. I need a male. Really, eh? My only option are these super expensive ones. Is that I'd rather not do. Not letting me filter. There we go. Yeah, that's pricey. That's a little too pricey. I mean, I've got... Got a decent amount of conservation credits, but it just feels wasteful using it for an American bison, which is, you know, relatively common. I'd like to save up for some really cool tigers and stuff. My hope is that next session we can start looking at... Uh, uh, our India expansion. That's my hope for the next session. Um, so maybe we... Maybe I, like, take Embe or something and, uh, and, and, and release her into the wild. Overall, decent genes, decent, decent appeal. Hmm. And who can you? You cannot, obviously, mate with Kiana. Mate with Embe, it'll be okay. I thought you're related too. I guess not. So maybe I should get rid of... Damn. Maybe I should get rid of Kiana. Yeah. Because she's a dangerous pair for both of the male bison. I'm just trying to logic this out right now. So Watkins and Swindle can both mate with Embe no problem. But Kiana would be inbreeding. So, oh, but she's pregnant. Ah, when are you expecting? December of year 22, so December of this year. Oh, and I purchased her with money, didn't I? So I can't just get rid of her. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and check the lists again. I don't want to leave them fighting. Another option is, of course, that I could just... Uh, Put one in storage for now. I think that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and get Watkins. No, Watkins is the alpha. He kind of has the right to stay, doesn't he? But Swindle is more liked. So Watkins, unfortunately, we're going to send you into storage. Right? And that should... <laughs> the ultimate alpha. So that should sort out that issue, right? Animals, go ahead and check your... Um, Go ahead and check your social. Sorry, there we go, social. Now the adult population is too small. Mm. The 
that's not good. Yeah, I guess, right. I need I need to get another mail in here. Maybe I'll just spend the conservation credits. Oh, no, here we go. 600. Let's do it. Let's let's get Embre over here. Let's get Embre over here. Go ahead and get you into our uh, quarantine first. And then we'll get you in here. And then we'll have a decent balance. I could get Watkins back here as well. So once Embre is done, we'll get Watkins back here as well. All right, what else have we got? Vet research completed. Good stuff. Maybe a good idea to actually give them some upgrades and stuff now too. Uma, let's get you on the... Uh, let's get you on... Animal died. Oh, no. On the tarantula. Who died? Nessa. Oh, man. 11.4. Died of old age. All the vet. They're, like, right by the window. People are not going to enjoy that. I'm super excited. Okay, that's good. Super excited. All right. All right. You know what? Sure, if, if, if they don't quite mind it, then I don't quite mind it, I guess. I do want that taken care of soon, though. Uh, what's their deal, actually, though? Are they still numerous? Two adults. Look at that hop. Beauty. Go ahead and check the animals in here. Only got the two. Male and female. Are they good? Are they a good pair? Are you about to have babies? Is basically what I'm asking. Go ahead and compare mates real quick. Inbreeding. No, okay, so they shouldn't be having babies. So Udele, since you seem to be the lesser of the two, let's go ahead and release you into the wild. Sure. I need to get a female pronghorn antelope. I need to get a female pronghorn antelope. P for pronghorn. Okay. And it needs to be a female. Thank you very much. Alright. Ooh, pretty cheap. Oh my god, not a good idea. I want better genes. I want to be able to select these animals too. There we go. Oh my god, none of these none of these are really good specimen. Oh my god. You know what? I'm thinking uh thinking Embry, quarantine pass ready to leave. Go ahead and move you into quarantine. And that same quarantine we currently have Embre. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a second. Move you into here. And we also have in storage Watkins. Move you into here as well. Cool. Lots of management stuff today. Hope y'all don't mind. Alright, so that's that taken care of. What else do we have to do? So, uh, there were a couple of other things I wanted to do. I wanted to do the uh, Wolf Rock expansion. And I wanted to get stuff going on over here. Are we able to afford the stuff up over here? I think we are. So, I wanted to get quite a few facilities up here. Um, and make it into a bit of an like area, basically. Um, for now... Sorry, there's like a lot of stuff I want to tackle. I'm trying to figure out what order I want to do them in. And how I want to play them out. Um, for now, let's go ahead and purchase some guest facilities. Got the ice cream. Missy Good? What is that? What do you sell? Food? Kind of a, I, I can't tell what kind of food a place named Missy Good might sell. Uh, anyway, so this is going to be another food court. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make it a kind of a squarish area. And I actually have a great name suggestion for it already. Um, based off of our little pier and stuff. But let's go ahead and build this out first. No, 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 no tunneling, no tunneling. Spectre's coming in 10 months. All right. Uh, make you a bit bigger. There we go. I think that'll do the trick. So what I want to do is I want to make like a central eating area. I want this to feel, you know, actually it needs to be a little bit bigger. I want this to feel like a, um, like a building, like a single giant building. There we go. I think we could make this a little bit bigger back this way. Okay. And in here, yeah, I'm going to have like washrooms and stuff. I'm going to build a nice little like 
area to stay. I just want to check really quickly. Negative impact is nowhere near it. Okay, good. More vet research complete. What else have we got completed here? Bears tape here stuff and staff facilities. Good. Good stuff. How are, how are people liking these tapirs, actually? It's a shame Rattle Shake is so busy. I need to really get on that. No donations. How are our tapirs doing? Those are poops. There we go. Offspring due January of year 23. All right. Coming soon. Coming soon. 827. Now, there's another day-night cycle. I really want to figure out what's going on here. Covering. I don't want to have to close my zoo just to adjust the hours. Is that really a thing? Is that really the thing? I don't remember doing it last time when I shortened my hours, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know. All right. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. My apologies. Let's go ahead and build some facilities. So I wanted to get a little bit of everything. Pizza. We've got so much stuff researched. I wanted to get, let's see. Let's see. Let's make some room first, because I want to make sure I have room along the edges. And I'm going to drop you down right over here. It's too bad you can't, like, put them on the path. You have to, like, path around them. Anyway, go ahead and get you, like, so. And what I'm hoping is... Don't think I'll be able to just build off of a grid, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Go ahead and do that. That's the chief beef. We can get our hot dog squad right here. Hot dog squad. And I want to get a pizza pen. No, let's go ahead and get cosmic cow ice cream as well. Okay. So that's that. Uh, then I want to get an info shop here as well. Sorry. Info center. Over there? Or do we want it to be like over here? Like right down the middle there. You come straight through. There's the info shop right at the end. Sure. And then we get some merchandise. Well, we definitely need washrooms. Definitely need washrooms. Timberwolves fighting for alpha status again. Go ahead and get one. Two over there. And two over here. Hmm, that didn't really work nicely. Get a couple over there, and get a couple over here. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and get... So we've got info, we've got food, drink. I should get some drink stalls over... We're out of money. We're out of money. <laughs> One toilet block for now. One toilet block for now. And you know what? I'm actually tempted to move the toilets to the inside. I don't know, the first, when you walk in, the first thing you see is a washroom. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Serious injury discovered. Like that? Maybe. Maybe. For now, let's go ahead and see what's going on over here. Animals fighting for... Yeah, it's because of the alpha fighting. Because of the alpha fighting. That's not good. How bad's your injury? Can I see it? I do think it's cool that you can see their the results of their scuffles and stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that taken care of, please. Man. Crowds are picking up a little bit more. 1240. Numbers are looking good as well in terms of the money we're making. That's good. Bears over here. Are you having a good time? I haven't checked on their welfare in a while. So I, I, I realize this has become a bit more of a management-heavy episode. Um, now, many of you have been saying, like, I need to do that more often. So hopefully you don't mind that I am doing that. But, uh... I just want to make sure every all these animals are happy. Like, it's been a while since I've checked up on them. Uh, I should probably also check up on my exhibits. What are you up to? Sitting down? Yeah, you're sitting down. Take it a seat. Our exhibits over here. Um, social health is not good. Does that mean... Yep, that is what it means. Go ahead and move you to the Trade Center. Over here. It's like every, every so often I have to come back in here and make sure that they're not uh, overcrowding. Need a storage. Over here. They don't breed as uh, numerously, I suppose. What about over here? You're still fine. Emberly's about to have kids, though. Over here, you are not okay. Go ahead and send you off. And let's go ahead and take a look at the layout here as well. Okay, I haven't researched their stuff. Uh, I believe I just finished researching some of their stuff. Oh, I've already researched their stuff. Um, how about you? 
No. Nope. Of course, it's going to be the last place I check. There we go. Get a large rock back there. Another big rock over here. Hopefully, they'll like that. Over here with the snake. One. Two away. Already got rocks. What was the... I could have sworn I did some more research. Or maybe I was thinking about it and I just hadn't done it yet. What's the deal here? Facilities without power. Uh, I see. Solar panel does not reach far enough. I just duplicated and put one down over here. Or on the actual roof of the building I'm planning on making over here. Hmm. Yeah, moving this one, I would move it out of the range of... Well, no, actually, if I move this one... Sorry. If I move this one... Yeah, okay. That doesn't really work. I, I have to get another one somewhere up there. To make sure that, uh... Oh, don't... There we go. Uh, to make sure that power is... It, we get proper coverage for the power. I gotta add all this stuff as well to my... Oh my god, work zones. There's so much to do. Okay, let's go ahead and get the work zones done. So, staff. I wanna make sure that I am looking at the right people here and assigning them over here. This I might actually make a separate uh, zone entirely. Starting to think if I should, like, the, if the pier should be its own work zone. Sam Velaquez. Let's go ahead and get you... Sam. Where are you, Sam? There you are. Sign you to this. I'm gonna need names for all of these. I'm gonna need names for all of these. Peer... Probably, uh, peer-inspired names. Um... Yana Gold or Jane Gold? Not sure how to pronounce that. J-A-N-N-E... Gould. Gold? Gould? No power. Okay, that's fine. For now, that's okay. Can't run an ice cream shop without power. Power source failing. Call the mechanic. Another power source failing. Call the mechanic. Water treatment failing. Call the mechanic. You know what that tells me? That tells me we need new mechanics up over here. We need more mechanics up over here. Bias and fighting for alpha status. Um, let's go ahead and set your work zone, please. America's north. There we go. There they go, fighting again. It's pretty cool to see the animals fight, actually. I think so, at least. How different animals fight differently. It's a... I just... I find it fascinating. Um, alright, you know, see Okay, that's what we just saw. Bet research is complete. More bears tape your stuff, so I should probably start getting some of their enrichment upgraded. They're having a... good enough time already. They're pretty happy, so again, I don't want to, like, get them to, uh... Uh, I, 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 I don't want, I don't want them to get bored of some of this stuff, right? Alright, starting to bring in some money, that's good. People over here are hopefully, yeah, coughing up some cash too, excellent, excellent. Serious injury discovered for Watkins, I uh, got badly hurt by, uh, by that battle, I suppose. It's not good. At least they're not upset about their ratio, though. Uh, Alright, what else is going on down over here? The lines seem to have lessened a little bit. It always makes me nervous when it looks less busy. But what about down over here? Oh my god. Such a crowd. Such a crowd that my frame rate drops. Now, it's actually suggested also that I should get some more ATM machines. Because people... Oh no. The bison have the wrong ratio again. Put you over there. What's wrong with the bison now? What is your ratio? I hate when this happens, when it's like the menu doesn't scroll properly. There we go. Oh, that's why it's layered. Okay, so we've got three females and one, two, three, four males. Waldo. Where's Waldo? There's Waldo. Okay. we got one, two, three, four males, one, two, three females. So we need another female bison. Maintaining this ratio is going to cost me a lot of money, isn't it? <laughs> American bison. Filter? Nothing? Oh, that's my store dynamo. I always get that mixed up. American bison, come on. There we go. I was wondering what was going on and why it was empty. No antelopes for me, please. Go ahead and filter this. 
Actually, how many antelopes do we have here? Just the one. Oh, we do need an antelope. We need a nice female antelope. Do we have one in storage? Oh, there's so much going on at the same time. I thought we had one in quarantine. We do not. Any species? I just want to make sure I'm not about to double down on an animal I already have. Alright, so we do need an antelope. 400, that's decent genes. Make me run out of my um, conservation credits, though. Again, I want to try and save up for uh, like some fancy tigers or something. Look good. Decent stats, decent age. Move you up to here first, get the quarantine done. And now, we're looking for a... Sorry, female? Male? Keep mixing it up. Well, right now the ratio is... Okay. Wait, one, two, three, four males. One, two, three females. So yeah, one more female. One more female American bison. Come on, filter. This... <laughs> I just wish this would work a bit more smoothly. There we go. That... <laughs> Gotta uncheck the antelope. Okay. Expensive. Can't really afford that much. Whoa. In terms of conservation credits. Sure. Let's adopt you. Let's adopt you. I said let's adopt you. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know you want to join me. There we go. So let's go ahead and move you first. No. Move you first. Let's move you first into... These menus not working? Kind of crazy. Like, I'm just trying to move an animal that I already own. Okay, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. What else is going on before things fall apart? There you are. Right? Move you into quarantine first. Please and thank you. Let's go and get that done. Okay, that's that's solved. More research complete. I should really get some... Uh, oh, staff facilities upgrade. That's good. That's good. And vet research as well. Mexican red knee tarantula stuff. Water treatment plant failing over here. Oh, right. Might help to actually complete this connection over here. I forget what distracted me, but something distracted me, and I've left this for so long now. Um, whoops. Okay. Like so. We have to keep tunneling up there, though? Hopefully not. Sure. I can take that. I can accept that. You go over like this. Easy access. We definitely have to cover this up, though. <laughs> this is, like, hideous. This is hideous. Hopefully it'll cover up nicely. And doesn't create these weird mounds. Okay, I'm gonna have to get like the rock entrance stuff that I've been doing in the past. Okay. Yeah, that's about as much as it'll do, I think. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Not the end of the world. We've we've dealt with worse. That is pretty bad though. This is this is pretty hideous. Where's my uh <laughs> There we go. I was like, where's my template? Go ahead and pull you over just to see how it might look. Okay. Let's get you over here. Like so. Yeah, just another just another rock entrance. Nothing to worry about. It'll look fine. Pick up a little bit, push it back a little bit. Gotta smooth it out. Gotta add like the rock texture to the actual terrain itself as well. Gotta make sure I'm not blocking the path. Yeah, this will be fine. I am very low on money, though, and maybe I should just slow my roll a little bit. Well, we're able to hit play now, at least. Because there's access to everything that needs access. Okay, let's do that. Move you in. Okay, okay. Cover up these weird, jagged edges on the terrain. I wish you could... I mean, I think maybe I, maybe I would be able to smooth it. A lot of the time you're not able to smooth them out. There we go. We know that access is possible. That's good. Button just you. Quarantine pass, ready to leave. Button make sure we actually capture that. 
for both of you. All right, good stuff. Let's move you into here. Done. That should be a pretty fast job. Hopefully we <laughs> don't have any more issues over there. We've been having a lot of issues up there. We've been having a lot of issues up there. Lots of crowds coming through. That's good. That's good. This is looking okay as well. Well, let's get them there at least. Get them there. It's uh gonna take a bit more work. I'm gonna you know what folks? Okay. Here's my plan. Here's my plan. I wanna start extending into India soon. Uh, which is going to be down over here. What I'm thinking is we're going to have like Peafowl, Bengal Tigers, and then we'll see, you know, where else the game takes us as we go further along. Those those exhibits will take some time to build and stuff. And as we're doing that, I also want to come back and do some touch-ups, obviously. Now, I've started... Uh, this was a weird session, actually. I've been all over the place. Uh, my apologies. So I, I've started doing some stuff over here uh, where, yeah, people have been coming, so I don't mind that I did it. Um, but obviously some of these don't have any power. The washrooms are being used as well, so that's good. Uh, maybe once we have some more money, which I will have when I do some of this stuff. Wow. it's a lot of money just sitting there. It's crazy how much money we make off these things. Another quick trade. There we go. Look at that. Getting them early was definitely the right call. They've uh, bailed me out so many times. They bailed me out so many times. There we go. Back up to 26k. Amazing. So, okay. So, here's the thing. I want to get this whole um, area done, which is like a, a resting, relaxing plaza type area. Uh, so, food, drink. Maybe this is actually too big now that I think about it. Um, we'll, we'll figure this out. This will be another food court over here, basically, that people can go to to eat, drink, be merry, rest, buy umbrellas, things like that. They've been complaining about that for a while. Uh, then I also want to get Wolf Rock expanded. So that's a couple things I need to do. And I want to get my lighting stuff figured out. And I need to figure out why this is not letting me adjust my time of day. This is really weird. That's really weird. Um, so those are some things that I want to do uh, ASAP. And what I think I'm going to do, folks, is I'm, I think I'm going to do that next session. And I think next session is going to be a blend of a lot of beautification stuff and our first expansion into India region. Let me know what you guys think about that plan, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, we got a fair bit done today. We've, uh, we did a lot of cleanup work. We did a lot of management work. Uh, we got the beards, tapirs actually having a good, <gasps> I can't believe I missed the birth. Just such a cutie. Oh my God. What a, how adorable is that? What a cutie. What a cutie. All right, sorry. Oh, I've got distracted there for good reason, I would say. Um but yeah, we you know, we we made some progress over here. Uh, we've started developing some new stuff over there. Did a lot of stuff with regards to our exhibits and research and and hopefully work is being handled a bit better as well. I was about to check I thought my work zones. I think they're doing okay. All right, your America's north. Yeah, so America's north should include all of these. There we go. I might need to make this its own thing. I might need to add more splits into the work zones. Anyway, folks, I've been requested, or it has been requested a couple times, that I maybe do a bit of a tour from a uh, from a zoo goer's perspective. So that's what I'm going to do, uh, just to cap things off. Going to hit hit play over here. Now I want to mention, as always, like I've said before. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do the zoo properly. Let's do the zoo properly, like the zoo tour properly. So you come through. Now right, you get your welcome sign over here. Got this area. Oh my god, look at the little baby over there. Oh, that's pretty cute. And off on this side. No babies over here. But you know you know what's coming, so you maybe come through. You can go in either direction. There's a huge crowd over here. This this side always has the crowds. And you can see all the tortoises drinking their water, eating their food. You can give a donation. That's good. Off on the other side. Less of a crowd on this side. Yeah, this side just basically doesn't get a crowd anymore. Kind of sad to see. Kind of sad to see. But that's that. Up in this direction, you know, there's the washroom over here. Very, uh, beautiful washroom. Coming through. Wolf Rock, you see the Wolf Rock pack? Oh, man, it's pretty cool actually seeing the game from, like, these angles. Oh, and he's playing over there with his little thing. And maybe you walk around this way. Give a donation, perhaps. Get distracted by the bears over here as they're running around. Oh, look at them run! That's so cute! It's like they're playing. Like they're playing. 
He's just washing his butt or something over there. Fair enough, Inspector has arrived. Oh dear. And you go down the cave over here. Over here you can see some bears as well. With the glares and blocking your view. On this side you can see some wolves, perhaps, if they're playing down here or if they're resting. Wait, there's some money being made. What are you running here for? What's for lunch? Literally awesome sauce. Nice. That's what was for lunch, I guess. So much room to walk around. That's good. No bear tapirs down here. And then you walk through... The creature cavern. Walk through... Lots of exhibits over here. Very crowded over here as well. Oh, also lots of litter over here. You guys, come on. Don't be such a mess. Are there not bins over here? I guess not. It's good to kind of come down here every once in a while and do a tour like this, I guess. And duplicate you. Get you over there. Let's go ahead and duplicate the green one as well. And let's get you over here. Come on, folks. Stop being so messy. Stop being so gross. Okay, let's go ahead and get you over here as well. And let's get you. Not you. Not another exhibit. I meant you over here. Cool. That's that. You keep going through. You get into the watering hole next. And from here... You can get a lot of food. These lineups are huge. I might need to add more uh, eating places down here. These lineups are really big. Rattleshake is very busy. Wow. Alright. I need to add some more seating as well, perhaps, so people are able to sit and, uh, and eat and enjoy their meals and stuff. And then you keep going over this way. Learn a little bit about the situation at hand. Go up these stairs that are hopefully clean. Looking, or this ramp. Nope, not so clean. Come on. This crowd just looking out this way. From here, oh, this is pretty neat. Oh, that's so neat. It's pretty cool seeing the zoo from this angle. Go from up over here, you can see what's going on. Oh, look at him playing over there. Oh, man. And then you can actually walk right out to over here. Peer over top. Next to the waterfall. See the bridges, the river running beneath you. Man. Really something special, isn't it? Looking at it from uh, from that angle. Really something special. What isn't special is how our money's going on this downward spiral over here. Income's pretty good. Okay, we've... Two years ago, average year, this year. Okay, we've made a profit this year. We have turned a profit this year. So that's good. We just need to turn more of a profit so I don't feel so hampered. W weren't we at 26k just moments ago? Oh, that money dropped. Uh, I need to do something about my numbers. Maybe I can actually increase my zoo prices a bit more. Ticket price is good. Oh, is it? This is a four and a half star zoo. Maybe it should be 25 and 22. Let's see what people say about that. I need money in a major way. Anyway, folks, so that's the plan for the next session. As I was saying earlier, a lot of beautification, maybe get our lighting working, figure this stuff out because there's a lot to do over there. Uh, and, and then maybe we start our India expansion as well. That'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get some more visual and animal variety. Oh, and right, the Wolf Rock expansion that I said I was going to do this session, I apologize, is going to be pushed to next session. Now, I'm going to try and get another session out for tomorrow, so we have another double weekend. No promises, though. This has been a crazy week. This has been a crazy week, and honestly... I need to sleep. I'm exhausted. So I hope you guys don't mind. No promises on another session, but I will try my best because I know you guys like it. Uh, so I will try my best. Thank you, as always, for joining. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes such a big difference to me. It lets me know what you're interested in and what I should do more or less of, like I've said countless times before. A massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. And of course... A massive thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching, commenting, liking, and just having a good time. Until next time, cheers.